But I'm going to start by saying hello to Dr. Bob. It's Bonnie. I yet again have come into your home and I've brought some friends with me and I'm hoping that you're open to interacting with us tonight and I hope I have your permission to move around the house. Justin has said I can be here. He's tolerating me yet again. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, I hope you choose to interact with us today and I hope Mar Marjorie's around and she might want to play with us. I brought some new toys for her to interact with. At any time, as you know, Dr. Bob, you want us to stop. You can let us know. I'll give you lots of times throughout the meeting to speak to us. But anytime you tell me to leave or to stop, I will respect that. I hope that uh, you choose to let us interact with you tonight. But we've sat down at the table here in the hopes that you'll come join us because you were lighting up equipment a little while ago. What was I, what were we talking yeah. about? Piano. Piano. Yeah, yes. yeah. And uh, I'm going to hand out some of these meters so that you guys have a chance to, to work with them. It also helps to have them more than just out. all right yeah. here in front of me. As cool um, as that looks. <laughs> exactly. But yeah, maybe they like the idea of uh, more pianos or more music. Maybe she just doesn't like the one. Like, hmm. Not good enough. Not good enough. Yeah. <laughs> does anybody <laughs> play the piano? Does who? Does, does the piano ever get played? No, well, it's yeah. probably got a tune that's got a crash uh, on the board. Maybe uh, that's why Margaret doesn't play it. She maybe, a maybe she likes any of a new piano then, yes. Yeah. <laughs> And it is a phenomenon with spirits that they tend to like keyboards and instruments yeah. and that and playing with them and just things they can interact with. Yeah, yeah. exactly. And yeah. I think you think a piano is probably fairly mm -hmm. simple to get to make noise, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But they're also misconstrued a lot because I know mm -hmm. I've lived in houses with mice. Mm -hmm. And if a mouse oh, is in your yeah. piano and it runs across, yeah. it'll sound like somebody's <laughs> playing the piano. But you can usually tell because it will be it will be random and it will be multiple tones because mm -hmm. a, a mouse doesn't go in and just hit one thing. Yeah. Right. right? Yeah. They should have run across. Um, and generally, if it's a spirit playing with it, you're either going to get like a tink, 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 tink of one mm -hmm. note, or you're going to get a two. Right. Right. The fun one is when you hear a piano playing in a place and there's no piano. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. In, in this room, because this is an addition to the, the house, like that, the line here the, uh, is North where yeah. that's yeah. original house, and this is the addition. And mm -hmm. to begin with, we didn't really have a lot of stuff over here. And then the one night we were here doing an investigation, we were actually just sitting here having a break. Um, eating snacks <laughs> and all the meters started going off so I turned on the phonetics device and we pulled out some meters and we sat here for a good two hours and yeah, we did really intelligent fast. conversation going back and forth. Do you remember? So, oh, really cool. Makes the conversation. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. What were you talking about? Snacks. Snacks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Somebody yeah. Talking, about talking about food. food. Just gonna yeah. music. Yeah. Double check that that's not me. Food. Chocolate. Yeah. I'll double check mine too. I think I did it, but yeah, okay. yeah. There's definitely jumping into the conversation, which is what we have here. So, as I said in the video as well, there's um, we do passive investigation and active investigation. And passive is when we're doing what we're doing right now. We're having a talk. We're mm -hmm. sitting around, and they're jumping into the conversation and and interacting. And active is where we're sitting here going, touch this, do that, and trying to get them to do specific mm -hmm. things. Both mm -hmm. things work here, but more often than not, it's just us sitting back and letting them. Yeah, the do their thing. So I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna try to ask. Are you broken? Is, mm -hmm. Can you light up the meters for yes, and then not light them up for no, so that we can talk? Can you, so Is could that you, a yes? <laughs> I'm gonna yeah. ask. So can you light them up right now to show that you understand and show me a yes? Touch any of the meters for a yes. Thinking about it. 
And yeah, and sometimes it can take a minute or two. Or they're just, that's like quite often, especially with margarine, it's just pretty lights, pretty lights, pretty lights, pretty lights, pretty lights. Pretty lights. Uh, less of trying to communicate. For this, uh, this was known as Drum Heller. It was called Green Tree Crossing. So it's like order 1914. And Thomas Green Tree, this was actually his backyard, this whole plot of land was stripped mm. on this side of Third Avenue, so the one that he parked on, to the other avenue, which would be, I think, like Fourth Avenue. Mm -hmm. But, um, um, anyway, yeah, this would have been his pasture land. Mm -hmm. and, and chunked out from the guy who owned all the land and then Drumheller House is right next door mm -hmm. and this house is predates the Drumheller House. So oh, wow. They actually flipped a coin to see what the name of the town would be mm -hmm. and, and Drumheller won because they both bought land and both people. Yeah. Died, so. <laughs> That's interesting. Mm -hmm. So you said that the uh, uh, family name was Green Tree? Green Tree, yep. Oh. Oh. Yeah. And they would have been like Dr. Bob, like say he would have, they would have known Bob each known. other. Yeah, the neighbors. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, no, so yeah, I'm not sure if that would be sort of agreeing with what we're saying, yeah. or again, they're just, oh yeah, I yeah. got enough energy to get to make the pretty lights go. <laughs> <laughs> I tend to, I, it's really easy to jump to conclusions that they're answering your questions right, and that. Right. Um, I tend to go by the protocol if we haven't set up a yes or no system, then they're just reacting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. it is a reaction. It is a reaction. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Exactly. <laughs> do you, exactly. Do you, I will try one more time. Do you want to talk to us? Because you can light up any one of these meters for yes. Yeah, there's some significant numbers yeah, in there. Yeah, yeah. But the interesting thing is that this was a localized natural field or electronics, then all of them be going off at the same time and going to the same number. Mm -hmm. And they're all going to different numbers, different and numbers. some of them are not. Yeah. Going off at all, right? Yeah, because they're all the ones that are going off Except all 10. these two in front of me. Yeah. So. yeah, let's switch them out and yeah. see if it's the mm -hmm. meter versus location yeah. dilemma. Anyways, yes, if you want to communicate with us with the meters, again, lighting them up could be a yes, and not lighting them up could be a no. And if you wanted to do that, that'd be great. You could show me a yes right now. We'd love to talk to you. We're just here to communicate with you and hear your story. So that might be a yes. Mm -hmm. I always try a couple of times. Mm -hmm. And once we kind of establish that, we try to kind of pare it down a little bit further, mm -hmm. where we'd like to designate one for yes, another one for no. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because um, that removes kind of the absence, doesn't mm. necessarily mean an answer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. So, but it's kind of steps along the way. If you throw too much at once, mm -hmm. sometimes you'll get nothing. Because yeah. it's just like with any person, you throw a bunch of commands, oh, it gets yeah. a little bit much. Body you gets too well, bossy. You yeah. forget all mm -hmm. the rules. And that's when I pass to her because she can be bossy and people don't think she's being bossy. So. <laughs> different approach to bossy. Exactly. Exactly. Different approach. Exactly. Why we make a good team? Yeah. But we would like to communicate. Could you show us a yes again? We can play this game and we can ask you questions. And then maybe I can turn on the talking device and you can ask us questions or talk to us. Can you just light one up to show that you're listening to me? We were previously talking about the name Green Tree. And if that would be the trigger. If that's a new command. Do you like talking about the history of this house? <laughs> stories. Absolutely. Well, maybe you could tell us a bit about the history of the house. I don't know a whole lot about the history of this area. <laughs> I'm just going to give it a couple minutes just to see if they want us to talk more. Because if you take away the conversation.
Okay, we got off topic and we got back. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes that's what it goes to. Yeah. Um, you were saying, like, chocolate, you didn't have any chocolate. Now that you're saying that, I looked around, there's a Kit Kat bar sitting right, right there. That. <laughs> that's actually yeah. not the world's largest dinosaur, a special. Oh, oh okay. Oh, oh, you just yeah. randomly yeah. had chocolate around so the house. You'll know when Marjorie gets desperate for chocolate, and that just goes yeah. missing. Yeah, it's, it's like, just going to disappear. Yeah. Yeah. Marjorie does have her own chocolate. There's a little mm -hmm. uh, Lindor chocolate oh, ball yeah. that's in the other room. Mm -hmm. She's used to that's coming out when you present her. <laughs> you know, we brought her cookies really last time. The best. <laughs> I should have brought my chocolate bars in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I left them in the car. Because, <laughs> well, Amy said they were rattled. The paper will rattle mm. in the pocket. Every time. Oh, that was yeah. That was yeah. 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 So I left them in the car. Yeah. Oh, see. <laughs> should we have brought them in, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Apparently. So just like that first time, it's the laughter. Like, yes. when, every time anyone laughs, yeah. it tends to... It's one of my favorite experiences with that night. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we find this at so many locations too yeah. that they like the, the, the laughter. laughter. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, well, I think we might move to another room if that's okay with you. Okay. Yeah. And uh, if there's any spirits in the room and they don't want us to move to another room, if you light up these meters right now, we'll stay in here. I always want to respect your space. Light up any one of them and we'll stay here. This is for you, Marjorie. We're going to put it on the table next to that meter that's going off. And that's for you. So there you go, Marjorie. There's a little ghosty toy for you. We might add a second meter to that, Charlie, just in case. Just to, to validate. And I'll press it again. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, the last few times we were here, um, in fact, at one point we had to turn off the sound on many of the meters because they were just going off continually. Oh, it's probably waiting for you to play chess with me, like playing mm -hmm. chess. Mm -hmm. okay. <clears throat> I haven't played in a while because nobody in my house plays chess anymore. And it's a game you have to play often to remember all the moves. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I remember all the moves, I just might not be any good at it anymore. <laughs> I used to play chess every day. Played it hours and hours with my father. Until I beat him. <laughs> and then, then he kind of lost interest a bit there. And this is kind of just the wait and see approach. Mm -hmm. This is just waiting to see if anything starts to happen. Sometimes Dr. Bob likes to do something interactive. Sometimes he just jumps in. Has he ever presented himself? People have seen him. I have personally haven't, but um, people, he has been seen. Well, if you are here and listening, would you like to come let us know that you're here? Any way you'd like. You can come up to one of the meters, you can move something or make a sound. It could be that Marjorie's just there. standing right there. <laughs> yes. Do you want the ghosty near the toy? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Fun to play with. Well, you let me know if you like it. I can bring you another one too. <laughs> They're really used to the green lights in this room because mm -hmm. most everything's green. Mm -hmm. yeah. oh, there's a quick beep there. Mm -hmm. I grabbed a couple of other yeah. cameras to come. So a lot of other locations at this point when there, there's not much going on, I would probably get more active. But here I tend to default to they're going to do what they're going to do. I never want to get too pushy with Dr. Bob because I'd like him to welcome me back. And... Do you want to come out and play with us? I 
I'd get down on the floor and play with you, but I'd never get back up. <laughs> I did pick the one with more feminine colors. So. <laughs> so yeah, other than the meter on the floor. Well, they're quiet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. they're quiet. It's funny, there's not too many people that actually, aside from Bonnie, come in mm -hmm. and do tours. Mm -hmm. So Bob's used to me yakking all the time and telling stories as well. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's interesting to, to see different, different ways things, like Bonnie says, oftentimes mm -hmm. these uh, EMF meters are going crazy in here. Yeah. It's, it's okay to, to come out, Bob and Marjorie. I know Marjorie, you usually come out with a little enticing, but it's all right. Um, it's nice that we got two ladies on either side because when Marjorie comes down, she usually comes from downstairs mm -hmm. and she's a little shy of men. So, so uh, she will come down right, uh, right in between the furniture here usually. Mm -hmm. So people came a long way to see you Bob so don't be afraid to talk you remember Bonnie and Charlie well yeah. All friendly. So. <laughs> I know it's been a while <clears throat> stuff in the house like um, I don't think so <laughs> um, it's just the family division. yeah yeah I believe so yeah <clears throat> I don't, did they have a housekeeper or staff or was it just a family? Nope, they yeah. did, uh, they did have a housekeeper. Mm -hmm. So, um, it's kind of funny when we found the bones in the front flower bed. Um, I did come in contact with one of Bob's great, great, great niece or whatever. And, uh. She said the one, the one, because she confirmed that yes, they had a, someone that would watch the children when they were sick, or the mm -hmm. housekeeper, and they had a groundskeeper. And she said uh, the one thing that the family used to always say is, um, "You behave yourself, or you'll end up um, like the maid." Mm -hmm. and one day the maid just was gone. Mm -hmm. so I'm, I'm, I'm assuming she probably just quit and mm -hmm. moved on. Mm -hmm. But that was, it was kind of a family joke, right? Be careful, you behave yourself. You <laughs> <know. laughs> the meter between the yeah. two. Yeah, yeah. I was just kind of yeah. Maybe the maid's still here. Yeah, you never know. <laughs> <laughs> she never left. Yeah. 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 Could be a lot of other dogs. watching that right now with the, yeah, definitely started having activity between the two of you there. I, I was about to say maybe I need to get out of Dr. Bob's chair and give somebody else a chance or leave it open for Dr. Bob and see if that changes things. And then we started having that go off. Can you come and sit on the couch with us? That's what you're talking about the maid. Yeah. 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 He, and the uh, family stories. Yeah, he really likes story time. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, wouldn't you? You know, having somebody come in and tell your stories mm -hmm. shows that you know people still remember you and yeah. your your memory lives on. And well, whoever joined us, thank oh. you. Yeah. Oh. Just come sit beside us anytime. Mm -hmm. It's to chair. Got a chair, Bob. I have my tools. The joy of electronics. Thank you. Thank you. Every once in a while you have issues. Mm -hmm. Oh, playing chess. Oh, wonderful. That was, that was, that was chess. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, it totally is. That's oh, excellent. Oh, oh, oh yeah. See? Yeah. I knew it. He didn't want to be sitting in his chair. Well, he wants to play chess. <laughs> he wants to play chess. Play chess. Yeah, yeah. Amazing. Oh. Oh. I wasn't oh, yes. being active enough. I was waiting for him to make his move. You're coming up to play as well? Oh, very much wants exactly. to play chess. That is so cool. Yeah, that's true. I'm going to get the battery and get the camera going, and he's going to be, huh? Oh. <laughs> My move, Bob? Mm -hmm. I'm going to hand you the camera chart so you can give a lot. Otherwise, I'll just be filming your hand. Okay. Which is lovely, but it's not really what we want to say. Now you're turning it, Bob. <laughs> you talk about trigger objects, right? Like this yeah, is yeah, exactly. Uh, Classic. Very little activity yeah. until it's yeah. like, yeah, I wanted to play chess. Yeah. yeah. Figured and, it out. <laughs> and it's the best thing on a location when you finally figure out what the trigger object right. is, you know? That's the one. Mind you, you can come back another time. And... <laughs> yeah, that's one of them. Oh, nah, that's the last Are you yeah. really Dr. Bob? Yeah, it's interesting. I kept looking at this, um, in this room too, where we had it move through the room. Mm -hmm. Oh, is, yeah. You know, I always love that way. It's like, it comes through like a wave, and, <laughs> you know, like something's moving through the area. Are we just not being interesting enough tonight? <laughs> Chess seem to be. We're not feeling social. Yes. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Oh, that's okay. Oh, let's just pick that up. No. We went nuts. Hmm. Maybe sometimes physical touch will make a difference. Um, sometimes they're more comfortable, especially when there's a physical presence. So maybe Marjorie said thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Could you hand me the doll, Charlie? So that, so that these things, they're fairly easy to knock over. Oh, that's so cute to look at it. They're so cute. Yeah. 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 Like, so the little, little, little tube comes off. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> the little bald head. Adrian yeah. Adriana yeah. that made these is working on, his, on oh. accessories. Yeah. So little Halloween <laughs> costumes. Do you like the ghosty? Touch her. 
I'm always we're always like talking about our cats. So. <laughs> Do you like the cats, Marjorie? Mm-hmm. In my case. Okay, well, the one on the floor is going out on the side. Mm-hmm. So again, that validates yeah. something. I wonder if it was Marjorie playing with Trixie. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Right. Well, we keep Trixie outside when we have people coming through yeah. for mm-hmm. investigations. Otherwise, she'd be here and rubbing on everybody. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Jingling. This kind of makes it hard it to do. It also helps to like, dismiss things. Like, I caught the footage in here of this room once uh, during an investigation of this curtain moving. But because Trixie was in the house that we could have a hear on, yeah. uh, I kind of had to dismiss it. Mm-hmm. But there is an event back here, is there? Uh, nope, there's no event back yeah. here, no. So it's still, it's interesting footage because we're all, nobody reacts to it. Like nobody in the room looks at it, but, yeah. and it doesn't, it only happens once in the whole time we were in this room and we were in this room for a few hours. Yeah. Um, and it's just right here, the, the curtain moves, yeah. like something brushed up against it. Mm-hmm. And unfortunately, there's no red back here. Yeah. No. And no, I'm fairly sure because right we had just been talking about Trixie and she was on the stairs mm-hmm. that it wasn't her because she was headed yeah. off stairs, but without being a hundred percent where the cat is, I have to say, mm-hmm. oh, no. somebody say no, mm-hmm. that was me. So that was yeah. that, that one that went off now? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So they're bouncing yeah. between the two tables, yeah. Yeah. on the table there, both of them. So. Well, I have to say, I had a cold draft mm-hmm. uh, when mm-hmm. I first sat down here. Yeah. I assumed it was from the vent. Yeah. yeah. No, there is nothing it's not there. Well, I noticed that too, it was there. really warm over there. I was getting really warm and I came over here and immediately cooled off. Okay, so, so it was just on my feet. Mm-hmm. Oh. We were both just moving. So I'm going to yeah. assume, yeah, yeah. assume that was up. <laughs> yeah. Do you get the porch lights flashing, Bob? I was just going to say they you were saw just, that too. Yeah, okay. No, yeah. They, yeah. they actually, I've never seen them. Yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah, I saw outside that yeah. it happened before and then it just happened again. And I thought no. if it was connected to the air conditioner, but it's not because yeah. it's yeah. running. <laughs> that was you. Can you do it again? That's a pretty neat trick. Did they actually go off and on again? No, or just, just a flicker. flicker. Yeah. A couple of times. Mm-hmm. So we've done a lot of work on that porch in the last few years. We've mm-hmm. built it up pretty nice. There's a moth in there? Yeah, there's a moth in there. Oh, that yeah. definitely could have been. Yeah, the moth doesn't work for that because yeah. they get close to the light and it looks like there's yeah. something yeah. moving around. Yeah. Or, yeah. Go yeah. little mad. How many times? So many times. Oh my god, I just saw a shadow figure. We go in the room. There's, there's, a, there's a moth on the moth. light bulb. <laughs> Every time the moth, it looks like there's something walking through the room. Mm-hmm. Yeah, moth. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I saw the flicker earlier, though, and they mm-hmm. all flickered. Mm-hmm. It wasn't one, it was they all flickered. Oh. Okay. So, unless it's a. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Do you think Bob should we move on or should we stay here? There's some other room you'd like us to go to. Mm-hmm. We will. Maybe we'll turn on the kinetics device. Yeah. Um, they're just passing the name of Charlie. Um, get him a chance to speak to us. Mm-hmm. Turns on, Dr. Bob, you know how to use this. I know you do. Or didn't pair to speak. I think You did. You know, you know how to use the device and talk to us. We were asking about maybe where we should go next or if we should stay in here. Is that you, Dr. Bob? You did have a lot coming through before. Yeah, and, and then I started fumbling and was somebody messing with my electronics? Hmm. Yep. Don't <laughs> 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 tell you. <laughs> 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 
fun with Bonnie. <laughs> can you say hi so we can hear your voice? Does it come through as different types of voices, or is it? Yeah, and it's mostly... it's hard to read into it tone, inflection, or voice mm -hmm. because it's a database of sounds. It's oh. a man and a woman oh, speaking all the phonetics of language. Mm -hmm. So, we we try to dismiss it as is it a man or is it a woman or is it just mm -hmm. picking what it can. Mm -hmm. But some of these locations where they really know how to use it, I do tend to accept it as man, woman, or child based mm -hmm. on what I hear because I know they know how to use it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, like Dr. Bob usually comes through as that deep voice in there. Mm -hmm. um, Marjorie is definitely comes through as a childlike voice. So great to yeah. hear, really great mm -hmm. to hear their voices. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Are you here, Dr. Bob? Mm -hmm. I actually did an interview on the radio the other day and talked about you. All the best stuff. Yeah. Mm. <clears throat> Telling people to come here. And, mm -hmm. Well, to go online and set up to come here. Mm -hmm. Not to just, yeah, show, just to show up. Show up. Yeah. I didn't yeah. hand out the address on the radio. We have a lineup of people. <laughs> but I was talking about Dr. Bob. And I thought he might get a kick out of hearing that. People are talking about him on the radio. It's famous. Very famous. As and this is the device you heard him say your name. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wow. I've heard him hit my name, Justin's name, right. uh, Robert, Rob. You know, yeah. we've had it all. <laughs> If we are speaking with someone right now, can you say hello? Can you try and introduce yourself? Yes, we think we know who we're talking to. But maybe we're wrong. I haven't heard the voice like he uses. Yeah, neither have I. He's, so he's really deep. Yeah. He likes making fun of these. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, this is one of the locations that we got there where I said, "Can you, can you set off a beater?" And we get it saying beep beep. beep, beep. <laughs> We've had that happen at other places too. Yeah. We know you know how to use the beaters. I don't know if you remember throwing the meter at my friend. Yeah. That was pretty funny. Life. Life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Honey. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Your wife's name was Blanche? Blanche, yes. Mm. It's a very pretty name. Maybe we haven't had any proof of his wife's spirit being here, have we? No. No. Um, Maybe you're missing your wife. Bean. I'm good. Anything you'd like to share? Anything new? Okay, I'm going to turn this off. We'll try again in a bit. We haven't gone down to the carrot house in a while. And sometimes I think he likes that and sometimes he doesn't. I'm always hesitant to take a bunch of people down there. Yeah. You know? Unfortunately, that's where the that's accident where happened. happened. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. um, 
And I'm of the belief that sometimes exploiting that or taking a bunch of people down there can be, you know, overwhelming for mm -hmm. the spirit or disrespectful. And um, especially when it's somebody that we know we can get contact with without having to go to that spot. Mm -hmm. It's like it, it isn't necessary. Mm -hmm. Be traumatic for exactly, them. Yeah. and it's, it's an emotional thing, it yeah. is. And um, you can definitely kind of feel the energy change whenever yeah. that yeah. kind of portion yeah. of the evening comes up and it gets mentioned and it gets talked about. Exactly, it, it um, you feel a little bit different. Probably, we would much rather talk about the jokes that you've made mm -hmm. and the fun things that you did yeah. in your life. Yeah. And remember that the uh, wonderful person that you were. I wish I could have met you before. Well, I can turn it back on again if you want, Dr. Bob. I just kind of want to know what you want us to do, as always. We can go upstairs, go in another room, or we can stay here and interact with you and Marjorie in any way that you'd like. We could play a game. We were playing a game with his spirit in East Cooley a while ago. We played Simon Says. Do you know how that game goes? You or your daughter? I say Simon Says and you do what Simon Says. And you try to, I'll try to catch you by saying something that isn't Simon Says. So you have to be a good listener. Do you want to play? <laughs> so we'll try Simon says touch a green light it's been a while too yeah <laughs> Simon says, run up the stairs. I should have put a beater there before I asked that, but you know. Let's put a meter on the stairs. Mm -hmm. Then we'll try that again, Dr. Bob. Thank you for apologies. <laughs> <laughs> slip back. I'll take this one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we'll try that again. <laughs> <sighs> So Simon says, run down the stairs. It's like, no, I like this meter. Mm -hmm. How about... Is that the Lindor chocolate there? They were talking about? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Little stashes. Mm -hmm. Simon says, turn out a light. Touch a meter. Doesn't fall for it. Not falling for it. Considering <laughs> that's all they're really doing so far is touching a meter, I figured that was a good test. <laughs> Did you like playing the game? I know it's not as fun as chess. Is it time to take a break, Dr. Bob? Yeah, we had kind of a flurry of activity there. 
So hello, Marjorie, if you're here with us. We've just come to say hello. I hope it's okay that we've come into your room to visit. I love your room. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yes, really. Justin's done a nice job. It's, it's uh, set up really nice. Oh, hello. Is that you, Marjorie? That was not need to run the bed. You gonna play with this? Can you make the ball light up? Do you want me to move the ball again? It seemed to react to me lighting it up, so let's try that again. Nope. <laughs> and that didn't work. Maybe they're too hard to set off. Maybe she was trying to light it. Are you still here? Can you go touch one of the other meters in the other room? Yeah, I think we'll head back downstairs for a sec. Okay. And uh, finish off the night in your living room again. See yeah. if we can get... So if you can touch one of these green squares, let us know that you're here. And maybe we could turn on the talking device and you can have a conversation with us. I know we tried earlier. It's your chance to let us know if there's anything you need. Gonna be lots of people coming through, I think, in the next few weeks. Mm -hmm. Maybe I need to come back again after Halloween. <laughs> yeah, so I, I don't do the fun size at my house, so I just go and buy the full size bars because we get so few people. But, wow. Yeah. Full size bar. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> and at the end of the night, when it starts getting so the last group just gets. Whatever's left. Exactly, because I don't want them in the house because. I'll eat them. <laughs> but perhaps I should bring them here for Marjorie. You should buy some Halloween candy. <laughs> and then just turn the light on. Or you do what I do. <laughs> one for you. One for me. <laughs> just bring the candy, right? What's that? Candy, candy, candy. Okay, I'm going to put the device right here where we're having consistent meter. And I'm thinking this might be Marjorie just because of what it was reacting to. Yeah, but sweet stuff. Yeah. yeah. Okay, we're going to turn it on. This is again, this is your chance to talk to us. Do we need to bring you some Halloween candy? You know, tell me what you like. Do you like licorice? What did you do on Halloween? Definitely wasn't a Walmart with a wicked costume. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
very definitely have. I've seen the costumes from before, especially the Victorian costumes. Mm -hmm. They're scary. Yeah. Yeah. I can't have a Christmas tree because I have a crazy cat. a question and then they answer the question like 10 minutes later yeah yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. that's why i'm always telling people when they ask questions they tend to pile them yeah and it's yeah. really hard then to tell what they're answering you know mm -hmm. so we tend to try to ask a question and they give a good period of time before you yeah. Yeah. Like yeah six or seven yes no answers and exactly and, then and that's why i prefer to just do topics of conversation yeah. yeah you know giving them an opening to just converse rather than just answer yeah. questions mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or give them a chance to ask us questions. Do you have any questions for us? something sleep and then daddy and then or no it was something daddy and then the male voice said sleep <laughs> are they fighting about bedtime yeah, <laughs> that's right go to sleep she no. wants the chocolate donut <laughs> yes <laughs> is it getting too late it's getting pretty close to bedtime sounds like it do you get a bedtime story You get bedtime chocolate? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime's good for chocolate. Only on your birthday, right, Charlie? <laughs> your birthday gets you cake for breakfast. <laughs> Do you think he has his dog with him? What kind of dog did he have? People have seen the yellow lab on the porch. Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yellow lab. Beautiful mm -hmm. dogs. Mm -hmm. We get a lot of ghost pet situations <laughs> over the years. Another reason to have glow, glow balls in your bag. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's interesting. The meter's not going off right before or right after. The, mm. Yeah. And I know it's not the device because we don't. <laughs> yeah, meter, it's not doing it right now. Yeah, exactly. And the, it tends to, same as like with Wi Fi, mm -hmm. if it's reacting to the speaker, it goes in steady yeah. waves. Mm -hmm. So. Sitting right there, I think she's yeah. It's okay. Maybe she feels safe talking between mm -hmm. us. That's okay. Is your birthday coming up? Do you want us to sing you happy birthday? I 
actually Bob's birthday just passed. Yeah. Mm. July twenty fourth. Mm. His birthday's July twenty fourth. Really? This whole time we didn't know that. This whole time we didn't know that. Whose birthday is That's July thirty fourth? Yours? Mine is too. Oh, yeah. Wow. That's my oh, birthday. Oh, no, you're kidding. Hey, Doctor Bob, we share a birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> Did you I seriously just heard Look that. Look at his little blow <laughs> boy. Yeah, that was. A, Thank you, Dr. Bob. Yeah, that was really good. Happy birthday to you, too. The few <laughs> years difference between us. <laughs> <laughs> so, who, who do we think the winner the was? I don't know. Well, sometimes it's, it's hard to say. Yeah. Um, it's really rare for it to be exactly on like a male mm -hmm. using a male except for here like i said dr bob's almost always that deep voice in behind so the other voice could be marjorie oh, so, so crazy. <laughs> <laughs> um like i said there's another female energy that sometimes mm -hmm. comes through but so Bob's a Leo. Right. Bob's like, a Leo. Like, there's lots of Leos in this room. Yeah, <laughs> I'm a Leo. I'm yeah. a Leo. Yeah. Passionate, stubborn. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Strong-willed. Little bossy. Little bossy. <laughs> Very smart. Very smart. <laughs> Very smart. <laughs> done here. Just a minute. Well, thank you for your hospitality thank and thank you. you for talking to us and for everything you did do tonight. I really appreciate it. And we'll be back again another time.